Hi guys, it's Sarah. Um, today I just thought I'd do a little bit of a coupon chit chat kind of video and I hope the sound is okay. Um, I'm using my webcam and my microphone is broken in the webcam so I have this microphone that my husband uses for voiceover stuff. Um, he does a little bit of voiceover acting here and there but anyway I'm using his microphone so I hope it sounds okay. I'm also going to do my weight loss vlog today um, right actually right after this but I just figured like I said I just figured I'd do a little coupon chat thing um, to let you guys know that <laughs> I took over my guest room as my um, my coupon uh, hideout or uh, coupon cave or something <laughs> I came up with some cute thing earlier and I can't remember what it is um, anyway uh, so I took over my guest bedroom bed back there as you can see it's like bare like I think <laughs> most guest rooms are it's just like a catch-all for all the crap for the house but um, anyway I had a desk back here and I had all my scrapbook stuff on it but I never do scrapbooking anymore so I was like why don't I use that for my couponing stuff because I had been just using my kitchen and then there was like coupons everywhere all over like the bar area of my house or my kitchen and then I had the um, you know the island there was coupons on and then I had like this cute little desk area in our kitchen and we call it our CC like our command center because we had like our little cell phone charger valet thing and then we had like you know all that crap envelopes and you know all that stuff so just like Tasha keys there and everything so that I took over that and was gonna use that as like my little coupon desk but it was actually pretty small and there was no real place to um, store anything so I decided to take over back here um, which is good in a way but not because then I can't like completely watch the kids like I could from the kitchen because my whole living room and kitchen area is like all one big area um, but anyway it's, it's working out pretty good so I just figured I'd say hey to you guys and let you know that I haven't had a chance to go shopping lately and that's why I really haven't been doing any haul videos um, I did a haul from the commissary the other day and uh, spent ninety one dollars and I know it's like so much for me um, but that was a coupon savings of like 31% and then they say that you save an average of 30% shopping at the commissary anyway and the way I look at it as is that um, yeah that's 30% if you buy the stuff that's on sale and the stuff that's not on sale it averages out to 30 but I figure if I buy only the sale items and use coupons and that's probably well not and use coupons but buy just the sale items then that's a flat savings of probably 40 I was thinking and then so I used the coupons too so I probably saved I'm gonna say between 61 and like 75 percent off retail but I'm not exactly sure but I got a whole bunch of um, big boxes of uh, hefty trash bags for a really 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 good price so I stocked up on those they had uh, Ziploc bags that were really cheap so I, sh I uh, stocked up on those uh, fruit snacks you know, for the kids you know stuff like that um, but anyway that's why I didn't do a haul videos because the commissary I don't know it's like the website states that you can't share the prices that are listed on the website but then when you go into the store it doesn't say anything like I've never heard anything like oh you can't tell any civilians like what the prices are here you know so I don't know I just don't want to get in trouble so whatever so I didn't do a haul video on that and I'm sorry if I didn't explain commissary's military um, grocery store that's on military bases um, and they price things supposedly so they don't make any money it's almost like a non-profit organization that sells groceries so they they charge supposedly like close to wholesale but whatever they are real jerks there I can't stand them I hate going there every 
And, and you know what? I'm just going to say it right now. I don't really care if this is PC or not. And I don't care if I'm like, you know, just saying across the board, but I swear to God, every commissary I go to, it's like 90% like Asian women from the ages of like 45 to 75, and they are all so bitter and like ooh, grumpy. It's like, it's an awful experience to go in there. And they're not very coupon friendly and but they do have some pretty good prices so I usually go like once a month not to mention I have to drive like 45 minutes to get there and use all the gas and then I have to pay toll charges on top of that I mean I don't have to but unless I want to go through like downtown Tampa but anyway so that's the commissary and that's the reason why I haven't done a lot of haul videos lately um, I actually also did a pretty good haul from Publix last week. Um, well, it's still considered this week. Today's the last day of the sale, but I think I went on Friday. And um, let me see what I... Let me pull up my thing here. Because I keep track of everything I saved. I got $130 worth for $27.92. So I saved 79% at Publix this week. Um, so that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll do a screen capture video for you guys of my Excel spreadsheet program that I used to, um, to keep track of my overall average savings or whatever. Um, so I also just wanted to show you guys what I was working on here. I won't really be able to see much of this. But I went to Publix and they have this Dove Men's Care deodorant on sale, um, two for seven dollars. Well, I have this manufacturer's coupon here. It says redeem at Walmart, so I don't know. It is a manufacturer's coupon though, so I don't know if they'll let me use it or not. But if they do, then I'll use that. And then I've got these from Target. This was a while back that I printed these. That's why you always want to print the good ones right away but that doesn't expire yet and that's a dollar off not only that my store allows triple stacking at the moment and Publix has a coupon in the green advantage flyer for 55 cents off so that means that I'll actually have five cents overage on these uh, Dove men's care deodorants and I only have enough coupons to get three so that's what I was gonna do there and then I was just cleaning out my binder and I found these because I'm trying to clean out everything that's expiring next week so that I can try to use it if I want to or whatever. But I have a Target web coupon for $1.50 off pawns and then a manufacturer's for $1.50 off pawns. And I know the smaller ones of these wipes usually go for between 3 and $5. So I figured I might get another packet of those. Um, you know, maybe pay a dollar or two. Um... Oh, also the, um, I found a couple more of these, oops, found a couple more of these $2 off Alme coupons, um, because who is it that's having the Alme sale this week? I haven't been to CVS or Walgreens yet this week, but one of them's having a sale on Alme Cosmetics, um, it's Walgreens. So anyway, I found those. And, oh, look at this. I got these little things at uh, Dollar Tree, I think, a long time ago, but you can stack them um, to file stuff. But look at all these coupons I have to put in my binder. <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. Yeah. I don't like that part. I've been putting it off and I really need to do it because now I have a whole bunch of room because I took out all the ones that were expiring at the end of March and there's a lot of them. And this is my one for the for the troops, all the expired ones that I'm going to send overseas because they can use up to six months expired. So I've got those two things ready to go. I have to get to the, doing that. My daughter's calling me so I guess I'll cut it there you guys. I'll be back with some haul videos soon. Bye!